Alrighty, so you're in the process of starting the all-important set up your dev environment. Uh, but before we do that, I just kind of want to show you because now you've finished, probably by now, actually you had to have before now, finish this part. So I just wanted to kind of show you what happens. So whenever you do the first thing, which is watch the video here, uh, and then what you will do, oh, actually, sorry, let me change something real quick so that you can see this from the student's perspective. So from your perspective, what you see is that you have to do this step first, which you hopefully have already done, watched my video that I haven't recorded yet. Um, but by the time you got here and then at the end, hopefully you submitted your GitHub username. Now, again, you could do this either place uh, and I'm just going to paste this in. But remember, you get that where you get it from, and I've already talked about this, but just that's the username that you're giving me, okay? So then once you submit that assignment, right, that comes to me. And what I do is I invite you into the GitHub organization. Now, you can move through the next items, right, which is talking about Discord. I hope you consider joining. I think it's a good way to get support for this class. You've done a short discussion board just about who's here. And now we're actually moving into the items for this class. Okay, now again, this is actually covering, oh, that's not a great example because I'll record a new one there. But remember, I'm actually doing this for all my classes. So even though you may see like in this example, I'm going to use CIT 93 JavaScript, but you could be taking 82, 94, and 95. So specifically make sure you look at your own um, Canvas setup for some of the information I'm about to show. Okay, so we're at this one right here. So just to kind of take you back and remember, this is always something good you learn in this class is that I have set up things as prerequisites. So once you finish um, things, you can then look at uh, like once you finish the uh, start here and just view these items, then you'll have I uh, week one open to you. And this is what I was talking about. So you can either click through the items in sequence, which you need to do anyway, or you can always go back to home to have it show up here. And then all classes will have set up your dev environment and it'll have these items specifically. And we're starting on this first leg of the journey, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna go because now I have clicked through that one. And now I'm going to return to the one that I started with. Okay, so once you um, tell me what your GitHub username is, I invite you into our GitHub organization. And I'm going to show you what you hopefully have received, but I'm going to show you an alternative in case you haven't. So I'm moving over to my uh, FCC student uh, GitHub. And I see here that in this account, Rio Waller invited me to join, right? So I can click that and join, which is great. And then you'll be in and then we'll walk into the next step. But I just want to say this as well, which by the way, I'm actually logged into my email and I'm logged into GitHub to do this work. So if for some reason, based on your email that you're using, your email system, whether it be the campus or some other one, in case you don't get that, or in case you just come here and you know you've been invited, because remember, in grades, you can, you'll see me reply saying, I've invited you. So if you don't see that invite, you can also just click here. Again, remember, check Canvas for your specific link. Now, I'm not giving the specific link here, but when I click on this, it's actually going to take me to GitHub into that organization. And now when I get in there, what's going to happen here is because I have been invited and I'm logged in, it's going to say, hey, you've been invited to this. And I'm going to say, yeah, go ahead and view the, or, uh, the invite and go ahead and join which by the way, I kind of clicked through that a little bit fast. You can actually read and should read uh, that setup, okay? Okay, so we've done the first part, which is we've joined the organization. So now you wanna do the, you're gonna create two repos. Now I recommend and I've asked you to follow my standard. So it's gonna be your first name and then the first letter of your last name. And when this is this plus, this is, you know, take that and add this and then underscore and either private. And if you don't know this reference, it's or 
public. Okay, so one time you'll do it as private. As a matter of fact, here's an example. And then one time you'll do it as public. So you're going to do this twice, and I'm going to walk you through what you need to do to just answer by what you're going to need to answer. Okay, so I'm going to go back over here, and this is important. Make sure you're in the GitHub organization. Now, I'm just going to show you before I do it because this has tripped up a couple of students. If I go back to the little GitHub cat up here, uh, remember, if I do a, not remember, but if I do a new here, I'm creating a repo in my own organization, which for at least one of my classes you do need to do. But for almost everyone else, what you do here is you come down to the organization of the course that you're enrolled in, and you should only see one. Although some of you are taking more than one of my classes, so you may see two. But I'm going to go into 93 just to verify I'm in the right place. And so in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do new. Okay, so it's going to, and what's, here's the other indicator that you're in the right place. Right? It's actually going to show you you're in there. And now you're going to do Rio. Now, and this would just be Waller for me and then public, right? But in this case, because I already have one, I'm going to use my FCC student one. Okay. But again, should be your first name. Okay. The, la the first letter of your last name. And I recommend all lowercase here underscore and then public and that way you can always know by the name <laughs> of the repo that it is and in this case let's choose public okay because in a minute guess what you're going to do you're going to do this again but you're going to select private now do do know that the public repo is for that is for that work and i'll always indicate which one you want it you'll need to be using public is the one that everyone in the course can see uh, and private is only between you and I, okay? So in this case, public, uh, we're going to go ahead and initialize a readme. We're gonna, not going to add a git ignore. We do that later on in the sequence of steps that we're going to do here. And I'm not going to add a license. So now, and by the way, if you miss any of these steps, what happens is you don't get the create, which by the way, I'm going to go up here, Rio's FCC student public repo course. And I could t type in the uh, more specific here, but at least this gives me, right? <laughs> and it's cute. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and create the repo. Awesome. It's doing it right now. Okay. All right. So there we go. We've created the first one. So now I'm going to come back here and I'm going to do it again. Right. And this time again, now I'm going to do just the opposite, just the other one. So if I did, uh, I did public first. Now I'm going to do private. You can do again, just make sure you've done two. So I'm going to go back here. Now notice here uh, when I'm in here, it actually has a little different interface. That's OK. Um, I'm going to go new. This looks the same. Right. Rio FCC W underscore, right? Uh, and then I'm going to do private. Uh, and again, this defaults into private, which is awesome. Again, I'm going to initialize a readme file. I'm not going to add uh, get ignore. Same, uh, same for everything else. It's just the different name and the different type that I'm doing. And I create. Okay, so it looks like in this case, I have completed. Uh, the first step on this journey. Now, I will say it is really important, it's actually mandatory, that you follow this sequence one by one because they all build on each other. Like you can't, um, even though you can pop around, you need to create and join your, create, join the repo, create the repos, install VS Code and Git, create your folders and clone them, and then do the Git flow. Okay, so uh, I used to have this in one long post, and based on student feedback, I've broken this down into hopefully more digestible items. One thing you can do is I have, because once you go into one of these items, then these open up. I did give a short, I gave a discussion board here for in case you run into any issues and you want to ask questions. Okay, I hope this gives you the instruction you need to be successful in getting this first step done. Now continue through the process. Talk to you soon.